I survived on side hustles for the first two years when I got out of college, and I've gotten pretty good at telling if a side hustle can actually work or if it's just there to exploit your labor for a few pennies an hour. Or even worse, if it's just a YouTuber making up a side hustle to get some views so they can make money with their side hustle. I'm talking to you, survey people. Anyway, unless you've been living under a rock, you've likely noticed that the prices of basically everything that you spend money on has gone significantly up in the last year. And this movie's not gonna get into politics, but even worse, no one really knows when or or if they're going to go back down. And that means that most people need to make an extra three to $500 a month now just to live the same lifestyle they lived a couple years ago. And I promise you, this video can help. These are 11 unique, but very, very real side hustles. I spent a long time looking for side hustles that are real, that actually make a good income, and that actually work for a majority of people. So there won't be any nonsense, there won't be any fluff, and we're gonna set some rules here to make sure that these are good side hustles. The first rule is that it has to cost less than $100 to get started, most of you aren't looking to buy a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollar program to get started in this where you're not going to be profitable for months or even years anyway. The second thing is that none of these side hustles require a huge amount of skill or if they do they require a very small amount of skill that you can learn within 30 days or less. And third these are all ways that can bring in money in the next 30 days. I'm assuming you're watching because you're having problems right now bringing in money. You're not looking to make money in 2023, 2024. You're looking to make money in the next next month. And all of these side hustles have the potential to do that. Most of these side hustles go way above $15 an hour if you get it going and you do it right, but all of them have the potential to earn at least $15 an hour for anybody, even someone who's just starting. And even better, almost all of these side hustles, I was looking for opportunities where you actually do better during a recession. So when the economy is doing bad, these side hustles actually tend to do good, which is good because the economy is about to do bad, most people think. So let's dive in and talk about these side hustles. Number one is is exactly like I just talked about. This is an opportunity specifically that comes up and is very strong during a recession or during a bad economic time. And what it is, is it's wholesaling real estate. Essentially what wholesaling real estate is, is where you go to somebody who's either looking to sell their home or they're not looking to sell their home, but you convince them to sell their home or you find somebody that needs to sell their home for whatever reason and you contract out a price. So you talk to them, you find out and agree on a specific price, let's say $100,000. Then you go out and you find somebody who's looking to purchase a home and someone that wants to buy probably typically an investment property and you find them willing to pay $105,000 or $110,000 for that exact same property and then all you do is broker that deal. You sell the contract that you just created on the home to the person who's looking to buy the home and then you pocket the difference. Then you can just Google this and see that the average wholesaler makes five to $10,000 on any one of these deals. Now obviously a lot more work goes into this than some of the other side hustles that we're going to talk about but this is a really lucrative opportunity especially as the housing market starts to cool down and potentially we see home prices drop, you'll start to see people potentially underwater. You'll start to see a lot more issues with people paying their mortgages and that will create opportunities as a real estate wholesaler where you can go find people that really need to sell quick. You can create these contracts, be the middleman, find buyers and make this happen really quick. And the real beauty of this is only a couple sales is what you need to make 15 to $30,000 a year with this method. Easy, right? Now, wholesaling real estate is not what I specialize in, but we are gonna leave a link to a video where if this is something you want to learn more about because I think it's a really killer opportunity, then you can go ahead and get started watching that video and go down that rabbit hole. For the rest of you, we'll move on to number two. All right, for number two, I actually had to go outside to film this because this is the craziest story ever. I made the outline for this video about a week and a half ago and then just yesterday someone knocked on my door and they're doing side hustle number two. So we're going to talk about it real quick and then we'll actually show you how it worked out. Uh, so what it is, is it's actually painting these numbers on curbs like that. You can see it's a good, clean looking number. Uh, it, it's helpful obviously for people trying to find your house, but it's really helpful for for emergency responders and stuff if there's a problem to be able to quickly identify your home. Now looking out my front door, you can see I can zoom in over here and you can probably see these guys got it as well and this house right here got it as well. That means that when they came to this street, which has three houses on it, on a cul-de-sac, they were three for three. Now, that's probably not like that everywhere they go, but three for three probably means that there's a lot of demand for this. They only charge 25 bucks, but our neighborhood has about 16 houses in it. And if they can get 10 of those 16 houses in an hour or two, that means that they're making quite a bit of money per hour. This is literally such an easy side hustle to get started with as well. All you have to do is search curb stencil kit for address painting on Amazon or go to a Walmart near you and buy one. And you can see there's a ton of different 
different options like this. Then you just go knock on doors and you spray paint the numbers on the curb. Very easy to do, very lucrative, especially for these young two kids that were doing it in my neighborhood. Now this might not grow into a huge business empire like some of the other side hustles out there, but it's easy to do and it can start making money extremely quickly. And you can also use the General Mills pricing model. And what I mean by that is you may have noticed if you go into a grocery store that you'll see a box of Captain Crunch for $5, right? And then a few weeks later, you'll see that same box of Captain Crunch selling on sale for two for $5 or $2.50. And they're making money either way, but they're using a pricing model, right? They're, they're basically getting all the people that are willing to pay $5 for a box of Captain Crunch and they're capturing all those people's $5 bills and then they're waiting and then they're geeking all the people that aren't willing to pay $5 for a box of Captain Crunch and they're capturing as much as they are willing to pay for a box of Captain Crunch, still making money along the way, but obviously having much higher margins on the initial sales. Very wise. Now you can do the same thing where you knock on doors and you can charge $50. And then if they say no, you can say, well, I've already knocked on your door. I'm already here. Would you do it at $40, $30, $20, right? No! And the actual work that goes into it is minuscule once you've already showed up on someone's doorstep. And so you can charge as much as $10 and still be doing just fine. Okay. I'm not telling you you have to do this, but this is an option and it probably works. And of course, as with everything else, I'll leave a video down below that you can watch to help you get started with that side hustle. Side hustle number three is called an Amazon influencer business. And I can almost guarantee that you've not heard of this one and it's really, really a pretty cool model. So you may have noticed if you go to Amazon that there's all kinds of products. This is a speaker that we actually just bought. Now when I click into that speaker, I've typically got a bunch of questions, right? Some of those questions might be answered by the picture, but a lot of them aren't. A lot of times I wanna see what's in the box. I wanna see what's not in the box. A lot of times I wanna see how it actually works and things like that. So you'll see that right here, there's actually videos. Okay, I can click there and there's a video from the actual producer of the product. And then there's other videos. And these are from what's called Amazon influencers. And all they do is upload an unboxing or little review of the product. So you can see right here, uh, it's just a simple, this guy takes out his product and he'll show what's in the box. He'll talk a little bit about how it worked for him. And that's the end of the video. Very easy to do. You can do it with simply your iPhone, not a super complicated process. Now, if somebody happens to watch 30 seconds of this video right here, they decide to purchase that product, you'll actually get a commission for doing that. Now you do have to sign up for this program and it, not everyone gets approved for it. And so this isn't something that everyone can do. But if you've got an iPhone, you purchase a lot of products on Amazon and you think you can take a video of what you purchase and talk about it for a little bit. This is an awesome side hustle to at least attempt because it's very, very easy to do. Once again, all these side hustles are easy to do. They're real and you can make really good money. You can see that those videos right there on a product that has 200,000 reviews, it probably has millions and millions of sales, which means that if a lot of those people are watching these videos, these people can make a lot of money. And in fact, one of my online friends does this exact thing and you can see right here, he makes about $15,000 a month doing this as well as other things with YouTube reviews and things like that. But he does very, very well using this exact model. Now, I will leave a link down below to his his content, he does have a paid course and stuff where he teaches exactly what he does because uh, he's obviously doing very, very well with it if you'd like to get started with this side hustle. Now this next side hustle is what I like to call Uber 2.0. And the reason that I call it that is it's very, very similar to Uber, except you can make significantly more money than you can with Uber. And who doesn't want that? Now what it is, is it's called Hop, Skip, Drive. And if you haven't heard of that, it's essentially where you drive kids places. So people that are under 18. So we've got a lot of people that have quite a bit of money, maybe two parents that have a job, both have jobs and things like that. And these parents parents need their kids to get to soccer practice or basketball practice or to school. And in order for them to get their kids there, they might both be at work and not be able to do it, but they do have money. And so they'll actually pay for people to drive their kids places. Now for this particular side hustle, obviously you're going to have to pass a background check. You're going to have to prove that you're a little safer of a person, a better driver, things like that. But if you can go through all that, you can make a whole lot more money than you can with Uber and do basically the exact same thing that you do with Uber. Now, before I start the next one, I want to show you a picture of one of the windows in our house. Now, you can see right here, I've got a couple of kids. Those kids love to lean up against that window. They love to eat some peanut butter and then rub it against the window right after they eat those peanut butter sandwiches, right? And for most of us that have kids, that's a very familiar sight right there, those really dirty windows where a kid will eat something and then smear up the windows. And that's just one window and there's a lot of other things that can happen to the window besides just dirty fingered kids. Now I wanna tell you a little story about uh, my brother-in-law who started a side hustle washing windows. He came down, I think she lived about four hours north of us and he drove down one day and said, hey, we're gonna test out the idea to see if we can start this window washing side hustle. And all he did was put on a t-shirt. He walked door to door for three or four hours on a Saturday afternoon. And he got two people that were willing for him to wash their windows. Both of them were willing to do it for somewhere between two and $300, meaning he made five to $600 in a single Saturday afternoon. Now he eventually went on to do that quite a bit, made quite a bit of money doing that exact same thing. And then he moved on in the winter time 
time to putting on Christmas lights on the same people's homes who he had previously washed their windows. So he was able to develop a clientele where he actually made money washing windows, then made money putting up Christmas lights, and then in the summer he would start again washing their windows. And he did it just by simple door-to-door -door knocking, no pushy sales tactics, just simply ask people in neighborhoods that were fairly well-to-do and had a lot of windows if they wanted to get their windows clean. By the way, I mentioned at the beginning, we're not doing surveys, we're not doing any lame side hustles that don't work, we're doing the real stuff here, and that actually means the word hustle is real. And so a lot of these you'll find actually do require some hustle, but they actually can yield real results. And so I would encourage you not to run away from these, but to actually dive head first into these, and you can see some really, really good things happen for yourself financially. Now this next side hustle is actually very near and dear to me because this is the first side hustle that I actually did that made me real money. I was making about $500 to $1,000 a month using this side hustle four or five years ago when I first started needing some side income. And I love it, it works, and it's a really cool idea. And what it is is it's called service arbitrage. And so I'll tell you kind of how I did it and then we'll go for more of a big picture idea of what this is. Now what I was doing, as you can see right here, uh, we blurred out some of the stuff like email addresses and stuff and websites. But what this is is it's a list of websites that a person that I know can write guest posts on, meaning they're able to go onto these websites and write posts. And what they do is they actually charge money if you want to put a link in that post. So you may or may not be familiar with SEO, but essentially a lot of websites want to get links to their website from other websites. And so this person does that for a living. He writes blog posts on all these different websites you can see, and he gets paid for doing so. Now what I was able to do is I was able to get his whole list from him, and then I was able to start connecting with uh, websites that were looking to get these links. And I would basically add a fee. So I would say, yes, I can get you a link on this website for $100. Now on his sheet, he would do it for $50, and I would pocket the $50 in between. And I actually built up a decent sized list of clients. I probably had 20 to 30 people that were constantly ordering links from me. And they'd say, hey, I want a link on this website. And I had a few different people like this that I would use where I would say, hey, okay, I want a link on this website. They would go get me the link, and then I would broker the deal, essentially. I would go show the person that I got that link, and they would give me $100, and I would make $50 in the process. Now, for some of these sites, they were charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars, and I was able to make two, three, four hundred dollars for a single link. You can go to Fiverr.com, and you can see all these different services that people order online from videos, animation, music, writing, all kinds of things, right? And what you can do is you can find high-quality workers on sites like Fiverr, and then you can actually go find clients or people that are willing to pay you for these services, but then you can just charge more than you charge from the person on Fiverr. And if you find the right people on Fiverr, then you're able to know that your work is good and quality. They're still getting what they paid for, and you're pocketing the difference as a middleman. So this is a fun one because one, you don't have to really do any work. Two, you don't really need any money to get started. And three, you can start making money very quickly, and you can grow this into a full agency model if you want. And a lot of people have done this and then eventually quit their job and turned this side hustle into a full-fledged digital marketing agency and made quite a bit of money doing so. Now the next one is one I have not personally tried, but I do have a friend who was able to churn out $2,000 in two weeks starting this business, and I think it's a really cool model. And what it is is creating print-on-demand t-shirts on Etsy. So you can see right here, if I go to Etsy and I type in something like Trump shirts, okay, and we're not going to get political, I'm just typing something that I know there's probably a lot of, you can see there's a lot of different t-shirts selling about MAGA and America and all kinds of different Trump-related t-shirts. Now what a lot of these people are doing is they're doing print-on-demand. That means that they're using sites like printful.com where they will create a t-shirt digitally, they'll just upload an image, and then when someone on Etsy sees the t-shirt and they like the t-shirt and they buy the t-shirt, then it actually sends the order to Printful automatically. Printful will actually take that shirt order, it will create the shirt, and then it will ship the shirt out. And so you're completely out of the picture once you've designed the shirt and once you've got it up on Etsy. Now obviously there's more to it than just doing that and automatically making money, but he was able to do really well targeting holidays, meaning he was able to make shirts that targeted different holidays in different locations, and when people would start to look for t-shirts around the time of that holiday, they would run into his stuff and they would buy the t-shirts. Like I said, he was able to make thousands of dollars very, very quickly using this because he was targeting something that was happening actively right then and he was able to grow it quickly. Now I'm going to leave a link down below to the video where he basically breaks down the exact process that he used to do this. So if you are interested in that model, go ahead and click that video down below and get started with that side hustle. All right, we're back in the car because this is another side hustle that involves cars. But this one is actually significantly easier than the last one. You don't have to do any driving. And in fact, this can be a very passive income side hustle. And what it is is it's using an app called Turo. And if you're not familiar with Turo, but you are familiar with Airbnb, they're essentially the same thing. With Airbnb, people rent out their houses to travelers and travelers pay them to do so. With Turo, you rent out your car to travelers and travelers pay you to do so. Now the beauty of this is if you run the numbers, typically a car on Turo rents for about $40, an average normal car. 
car. Now, $40 a day can yield you about $1,200 a month if you're renting it every day. Maybe we don't expect to rent every day, but even half of the month will get you about six or $700 a month. Now, if you run the numbers, the average loan on a car like this one would cost you about $250 a month. That means that you can make about $400 to $600 a month, and you're not really doing any work. At most, you're having to drop off the car when someone comes in town and maybe pick it up at an airport when they leave town. Other than that, you're just making money passively for people using your car, and this can completely pay off your auto loan while at the same time making you some money on the side. Now, the last one I want to talk about is another one that's near and dear to me because it's another one of the first ways that I was able to make money, but I'm actually still using this to make money today. And what it is is called a product review business. Most of us have searched Google or YouTube for questions when we've thought of purchasing a product. Some good examples of this is I might have searched the best X for Y. I might have searched what the best gift for my wife is, right? Or I might have gift searched the best gift for mothers for Mother's Day, things like that. Or I may have also found something that I really liked and read a review up on it. I may have said, hey, I want an iPhone 6 review before I go and buy the iPhone 6. Or we may have looked up comparisons like iPhone 6 versus Samsung Galaxy 6. Right? These are all things that a lot of us have actively searched on YouTube. And our mindset when we're searching is a buyer's mindset. We're looking to buy something, right? We're just trying to figure out what exactly it is we want to buy. And so what I do is I create product reviews or I create best X for Y videos. Now right here is an example of one company that I'm doing this with. And you can see I've made in the last six months, I've made about $30,000 doing just this. This is just just making reviews or a review about this particular business. But here's a great example of another one you can see right here. This is a software. It's called Active Campaign. It's for your marketing. So I made an Active Campaign review and demo. It's got about 10,000 views to date on YouTube. And when someone watches that video, I actually have a special affiliate or a referral link in the video that they can go click on to then sign up for this product. When they do so, I'm able to make a commission or I get a cut of whatever they spend on that product. Now you can see right here, these are all different payouts that I'm making from people watching that video and then paying out. And you can see right here it amounts to about $1,500 a month typically from this one business. Now the beauty of this particular business is you actually don't get paid just once. It's a software subscription and that means that if someone watches my video and then they sign up through my referral link, I will actually get paid every single month when they go out and they pay this company that they're using. So this is one of my favorite models. It's kind of affiliate marketing but a simpler version of affiliate marketing where you just do product reviews. I could literally have just taken a free trial of this company and then made a review of the company during the free trial period. It would have cost me nothing. So anyone can get started with this. I've done this to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars with multiple different products in multiple niches. It's just a matter of actually getting out there and creating the content. Now this side hustle can take a little longer to get off the ground. You can have some videos that don't succeed in the beginning and it can kind of be a bummer, but it's really, really cool and it can actually turn into a very nice passive income source if you do it right and you do it consistently. Now we're going to go make a bunch of videos on these side hustles in the next few months, but I need to know where to start, which means I need the viewer, I need you to let me know which side hustle we need to start making more videos about. So let me know which one you want to know about, and we'll do a lot of tests on it. We'll make tutorials, and we'll really dive in and help you learn how to crush it with this side hustle. Just let us know in the comments. And as always, this channel is all about making money online. It's all about real, honest ways to do that. If that's what you're looking for, go ahead and click subscribe, and thanks so much for watching.